Um, hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to share my um, brief analysis of Cacao Corporation um, for a Bad to World Cacao Talk. Um, I think most of us use this messenger application Cacao, called Cacao Talk, so um, you guys may know about the company, so I will introduce a little more. We will go through some main points. Um, such as um, corporate structure, structure of the company, some financial records, and um, profit reasons, exactly what caused um, such huge profits, and um, product offerings, um, some marketing strategies, um, if there are some, or um, and industry, um, whether it's slow or um, volatile, and lastly, ESG, um, CSR practices of um, this company and how um, the company is perceived by the public. So let's go. So the company officially was established in 2010 by um, the person called Kim Boom Su. Um, with its first free mobile instant messaging app called Kakao Talk. It achieved 220 million registered users by 2017. Um, it's, that, that's really something. Um, so the corporate structure of the company. Kakao Company has only one headquarter in Jeju Island, South Korea. Um, Unlike other um, manufacturing based huge corporations, um, it has only one headquarter, not so many um, other um, like places um, because the company is based on digital um, industry. Um, so organizational structure of the company is functional structure where um, the employees are um, grouped based on um, similarities in their skill sets, um, tasks and accountabilities. Um, this structure is really well used and found successful, um, found very useful um, in IT companies. So yeah. Um, when it comes to global extension, um, the company uh, first started its um, global extension in Singapore this uh, summer by establishing two blockchain entities by Clayton. Um, yeah. Um, financial records. Uh, for financial statistics, I would like to um, go directly to life statistics from Yahoo Finance. Let's just briefly look at Yahoo Finance statistics. So first thing we should look at is um, sales revenue. It's right here, $5.6 trillion. Mm -hmm really huge numbers and gross profit how much of uh, the revenues are true profit it's 4.16 trillion dollars i think this is really great portion and we would like to check total cash of the company is 5.7 trillion dollars while the debt is not even 2.5, not even half of the total cash uh, which the company has. Um, these statistics clearly shows that the company is doing really great. And um, well, when it comes to um, statistics, so yeah, and the profit margin is 20%. In one year, we also can see here the stock price of the company 
um, more than doubled, really. Um, opportunity giving company, if that's true to say. Let's just go back to our PPT. So yeah, there was financial record sales revenue was uh, year over year rise 20%, almost 21%. Um, that was really something and less analyzed but caused those big profits. Um, so um, profits soared uh, with the introduction of paid ads in hugely used messaging app Kakao Talk. Um, South Korean internet company Kakao's profit doubled in the third quarter uh, following the introduction paid advertisements in its hugely popular chat app Kakao Talk, which is uh, used by majority majority of Koreans. Kakao said its operating profit soared 93% uh, to 59 billion won uh, in July to September period from a year ago, um, the company's best performance in four years. So uh, sales also jumped 31% on the year to a record high. Uh, to 783 billion won. Um, Co-CEO of the company also said that um, growth in the ad sector it was very, really strong, but that was not the only thing that happened. Other um, sectors such as commerce, game, music, and paid contents also um, grew really high. Um, the other factor that um, helped the company get really huge profits was uh, consistent innovations. Like, um, since I know this company, Kakao never stopped making innovations. Like, it always creates something. Um, for example, recently made Kakao tea bikes. Um, uh, working out in the street, you can just find anywhere the bike and using the app, you can um, rent the bike for an hour or just a, for some minutes and pay a um, little amount of money. So yeah, um, this, this kind of innovations really help the company grow so hard. Um, when it comes to product offerings, uh, the, co the, co the company offers so many things, Kakao Bank, Kakao Pay, Kakao Game, and Kakao Entertainment, Webtoons, uh, Musical Stuff, um, Kakao Mobility, Kakao Tea, Kakao Bikes, this kind of stuff, patient unit, and online shops. Um, I think almost the corporation is involved in almost all industries, only from digital side, not um, not from an, um, how to say, usual perspective. Um, I couldn't, to tell the truth, I couldn't find really much information about marketing strategy of Kakao Corporation, Kakao Company, but uh, what I found is that um, having access to about 90% of the population and their data, um, Broad, cacao, everything like uh, you can just literally um, know how to sell your product if you have all the data about your customers. And the cacao, the cacao company first gave um, its users free messaging apps. So um, as I mentioned before, so many. Uh, population, almost 90% of the population are the users of Kakao. So um, there is no problem in marketing your new products to um, the public. When it comes to industry analysis, um, too many industries um, 
So um, what I found out is like online banking and payment service um, are the most volatile among um, other industries. And entertainment section, um, I say not so mm, volatile, rather slow than others. Um, why I think so, because I mean, online banking and payment services, there are so many uh, like, um, other companies who um, want to penetrate the market and go to top, um, like TOS being an um, online payment service um, or Kakao Bank online banking also, like um, K-Bank, not Kakao Bank, I'm sorry, um, K-Bank, uh, which can really compete with Kakao Bank. So, Mm. these um, competitors uh, are really the ones who um, move the market, make the market so volatile, um, making the stock prices go low and high in a seconds. So what can we expect from the future? Um, I would say looking ahead, Cacao will uh, face much stronger competition from um, other fintechs such as um, K Bank and Viva Republic at Bank. Um, so K Bank has bounced back from a long slump by um, linking up with a crypto exchange to capitalize on the Bitcoin boom. Uh, while TOS uh, launched South Korea's first online brokerage in March. Um, called TOS Securities. These things are uh, maybe some um, thing that make, that can make the cacao company uh, worry about its future. Oops. <laughs> yeah, our, so our last section is social responsibility. Um, the Kakao Corporation is involved in so many social responsibility projects. Um, um, some of them being Kakao Project 100, Kakao Together, Kakao Business and Human Rights Statement. So um, Kakao Together Project um, is um, really active in um, solving some social issues. Like um, recently there were um, raising some um, issues regarding um, like child abuse and like this kind of stuff. And um, human rights statement project is protects human rights of um, cacao companies, employees and business partners. And even it's users privacy and um, the project makes sure that it guarantees freedom of um, expression of its users. Um, and according to the recent regulations made by the government of South Korea uh, about regarding the, the monopolistic businesses, uh, those conglomerates that um, doesn't let small businesses grow. Um, after those news, Cacao Company raised over $200 million against Monopoly Lake to support small, um, small offline uh, businesses, uh, help them grow, um, investing in startups. So yeah, these were some of social responsibility projects made by Kakao Company. So I think I can finish my presentation here. Thank you for your attention. Yeah, take care.